are at Scotiabank Arena, the home of the Toronto Raptors, and today we are on the court looking at how the most advanced technology is being used to help players in the sport of basketball. I was invited to this special behind the scenes event by Amazon Web Services. AWS has been working with a variety of professional sports leagues, including the NBA, to integrate new technologies that support not just the players and coaches, but also the fan experience and even sometimes improve the sport itself. For this event, we got to try something called Shooting Lab, which was a biomechanical data capture experience that the Raptors currently use with their players and staff. What does that mean? Well, they set up this array of cameras around the court. Then you shoot a basketball and your precise technique is captured. Then you shoot a few more times and using AWS powered AI models, biomechanics data like your release angle, stance width, elbow velocity, trajectory, and more are all compared across the series of shots. The end result is this detailed list of very usable stats and this visual representation showing your shot performance and consistency. With this type of detail, it takes some of the guesswork out of what coaches and players may need to work on, especially if a player is returning to the court after an injury. Andrew Ku is the director of the Sport Performance Lab with MLSE, which is the division of the company that explores different ways new technology can be used with their teams. Keith Boyarski is the Vice President of Basketball Strategy and Research with the Toronto Raptors, working closely with that team specifically to adapt new technologies for the Raptors to use. We have Andrew and we have Keith and we just had an amazing experience on the court. Can you tell us about Shooting Lab and what we got to do today? Yep, um, Shooting Lab is all about delivering um, an experience that helps you get better at shooting basketballs. Really simple thing, but really actually hard to do, right? And what we're adding to that experience uh, from Shooting Lab's perspective is giving you biomechanical feedback on your shot. Biomechanical feedback. So how is that helping the pro athletes improve their game? So much of the game is about consistency, right? And knowing how you move as a player, right? From your knees, your hips, your elbows, your shoulders, um, giving you more information of that um, is power. It's power about how you get better. It's power about how you're moving. Um, and hopefully that leads to better shots. And this is just one example of some of the very cool ways that this AWS technology is being implemented here with this team in this venue. What are some of the other ways that you guys are leveraging the latest technology to help out with sports? Well, it's not just about shooting this biomechanical data. It's, you know, we're, we're in the early stages right now, but we can see the future and the future is around athletic performance, injuries, um, strategic elements in the game. There's, it's almost limitless. I mean, this really is an exciting time for us to be in the sport because this convergence of you know, the sport and the data has never been has never been greater, really. Julie Souza leads sports globally for AWS and helps these teams and leagues figure out how they can take these mountains of data and improve the fan experience, use those analytics to improve the athletes or even heighten the action in the sport itself. So we got to see a really cool way that this is being used to help out players and coaches with Shooting Lab earlier. What are some of the ways that AWS Tech is going to be used to enhance the fan experience for people who are watching at home? Oh. Uh, I think there's going to be so much fun stuff coming down the pike, but we're launching right now with the NBA around a new set of analytics that'll help drive engagement. We've got um, we've got names for them. So there's gravity, defensive box score, and shot difficulty or expected field goal percentage. So these are insights that'll help fans understand what they're watching, have a greater appreciation for the feats of athleticism that they're seeing. Um, so we're going to start off with those sorts of analytics, but I think there's a lot more to come, and that's the first of many analytics to come in the game of basketball. Well, and first of many, there's so much data being sampled every single second. There's so much information and there's so much possibilities of what we could do with this all. Where do you see it all going? What does the future look like as more and more of these technologies are embraced by different leagues and different sports and, and fans? Such a good question. Um, I I love that the fact that there all of this data just sort of is a limitless well that we can pull from. Um, and use cases we've seen across sports include player health and safety, officiating, equipment changes, game strategy, fan engagement. I love thinking about hey, if a fan wants to watch a really you know data laden broadcast, we could offer that to them, or a betting version of a broadcast, or an animated version that's using the underlying data to help drive augmentation on the screen. So I think we're going to 
see more and more personalization built off of, or capabilities and personalization built off of this data. It was such a cool experience to get to go hands-on with this technology on the home court of the Toronto Raptors. So a big thank you to AWS for making this possible. I hope you enjoyed going behind the scenes with me on this experience. Remember, for the latest in tech and video game news, follow this channel or visit geekingout.ca.